Welcome to Die Fall Presents Spelljammer Adventures in Spasse, the finale, if you will. It seems about right. Spasse, the finale? I like it. Yeah, right? Welcome. It's it's probably the last one. I think it's the last one. I don't think there's anything else after this. I, Unless for some reason everyone just immediately dies, we're, we're probably okay. He doesn't think, says the person making the entire game. <laughs> Uh-oh. I do I, this to, I, to, I, I, to throw people off the this, scent of being incredibly yeah, prepared. Is this crypt so, so, <laughs> <laughs> of being incredibly prepared and immaculately timed. I, oh, I have to I, throw I it off it a little purpose. bit. They're, yeah. they're trying to throw us off. Well, no, but someone already tried to throw <laughs> us off, and everyone now has two nat 20s. We're already starting off the show with two nat 20s, including myself! And I play the bad guys! So Here's I'm very thing. excited for that. Can I combine them to make a nat 40? Yeah, if it's necessary to have a, an AC <laughs> of 40 or a difficulty class of 40, sure. <laughs> but if we're at that point... Damage. Oh, quadruple <laughs> damage. No. No, 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 no. Hey, I'm not going to be that generous. It's possible. I'm not I can be build a level 10 Warforged Paladin with an AC of 40. You can, Damn. which is, yeah, at level 10, by the way, which is unreal. It's super silly. It's uh, possible. You can do it. Yeah. I, I had, I had one in a, in one of my like private games. It was a, a young, a young guy playing a Warforged Paladin and he did. He had an AC of like 35. With the, with the shield. Yeah. Plus, you just know, unbelievably and strong. And he, of course, like at that <laughs> point in time, cause we played up to level 20, he had like legendary items and stuff that were just like cranking out AC. It was, yeah. It was great though. So hi, welcome. Um, it's gonna be good. Does anyone want to? I'm gonna. I'm gonna allow it. Uh, earn another nat twenty. Have three in your bank for doing a recap. Any interest in that? I took last week. So. That's true. Well, while you discuss it, real quick. Hey, you can support us at home, as you can just see on the screen right there. There's more being handed out uh, now. All players have three apparently, um, which is more than my two great thank you all right appreciate that uh you can support us here jokes on you chat i'm gonna forget to use them <laughs> i try to do my best to remind everyone but five dollars for a reroll ten dollars for a nap 20 15 dollars to get some background insight on these characters and twenty dollars for a draw from the deck of many which i will do my best to include in the finale episode generally i like to plan out how these things go but we'll have to use everything all at once so hopefully that all works but yeah, you're getting stacked up with nat 20s, which is unacceptable. You can also click the pinned link in the chat there. And for every 10 retweets, we'll earn them another nat 20 because I'm feeling very generous today, I guess. Fine, fine. Do it, do it, do it. So there you go. Uh, yeah, so then, now that you've had a chance to think about it, uh, and AAA has already uh, said that they will not be doing the recap. Does anyone want to volunteer this is not for that? Great. Or <laughs> I'll do it. And I'll earn myself one, and then we can all have three. I'll do it. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Bring us in, Pine. <clears throat> Previously on Spelljammers Adventures in Spasse. So glad I wasn't drinking. We were fighting. <laughs> <laughs> we were fighting a giant dinosaur uh, crocodile uh, dragon. Sun dragon, yeah. And I was sitting there, stabby, 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 stabby. And apparently it was like, ah, stop, you're ruining my scales. But it actually wasn't there to like hurt us. It was just there to technically retrieve the princess's ring. So then we said, you know, using Flapjack, love that little guy. He went ahead and translated for us and was like, hey, the princess gave us this ring, it's ours. And they go, oh, okay, this is just a ginormous misunderstanding. Let's take you over to the, you know, big baddie's big palace. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go do that. So that's what we did. And then we split up the group and then I was with Sparlight, 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 Wait, Twinkle Eyes. And then the rest of the group were doing something. I don't know, but you know what? I'll tell you one thing. The city is crazy. There was supposed to be a funeral, you know, for someone. And the streets were just rampant with just chaos. There was explosions and there was screaming. I don't know what the heck was going on, but you know, like, you know, Dan said that's how they celebrate, you know, funerals is just, you know, with all the fireworks and fire explosions. I tell you, it's pretty crazy. Probably a little dangerous too. 
Anyways, we finally make our way up to the big, big, bad castle. And we're like, okay, do we climb the wall or do we knock on the door? And AAA's like, well, we should try the door first and then we can climb the wall. And we're like, that sounds like an excellent idea. So we're all in our disguises and I am disguised as Zant's backpack. And we go up there, we knock on the door and we go, trick or treat. And then the guard's like, I know you, you come with us. And we're like, uh oh. So now we're with the princess and the prince and we somehow got ourselves in this uh, like kind of, you know, fight to the death thing. I'm not really exactly sure, but there's this really big guy, you know, and he's all dressed in armor and stuff. He looks a little scary. And so we have to like fight him to the death. And if I remember correctly, he's cute. Yeah. He's super adorable. Is he? <laughs> He's kind of cute. <laughs> He's got a little cute face, yeah. So yeah, that's your recap. That was great. That's excellent. Yes, we have found our way to the heart of the Xerixian Empire, blasted our way into the Citadel and through the people of the Citadel to eventually arrive at our final location, the Temple of of light. The astral font in the center of the Temple of Light is a 40-foot diameter, two-foot deep pool of glowing, pale liquid fed by a 10-foot diameter beam of harmless blue light. Uh, but also it will just transport you into the center of the Xerixian star and vaporize you as soon as you arrive. So that's real fun. Our party pushed- Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, yes. Our party we don't know what happens. Pushed through the crowd and has declared themselves uh, in favor of Princess Zadali ascending to the emperorship of the Xerixian Empire. Prince Zeleth, utilizing his right to also select a champion, has select a, selected a creature known as a Zodar. Which is, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cute. It's kind of- cute. It's kind of adorable. Uh, so where we're gonna find ourselves is right where <clears throat> we ended the Zodar being announced. Zealoth here sneering. Very well, sister, since you won't face me yourself, I too name a champion. Bring forth the Zodar. The crowd giving a collective gasp here as the guards part ranks and make way for a creature clad head to toe in a suit of obsidian armor. As it floats towards you, you realize the armor is indeed the creature. It's very nice. The priest turns to face you. The Zodar has served the Imperial family since the dawn of the Empire. Its knowledge is vast. Its will absolute to the death. I need you all to roll me initiative. I need you to roll me initiative. I will. I will be. I'm. I'm playing the I need bad you guy. You get off my ass. <laughs> tell me what to do. Don't tell, don't tell me what and to dang do. Dang it. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's. You're a not point. my supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's my next button? Where do you? Go? Wait. You're not my space supervisor. I was gonna say, aren't I actually your supervisor <laughs> in this case? <laughs> Are we still uh, rolling for Crux and... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Full team. Full, you're going to need them. <laughs> I, uh, I w used this joke last week, but uh, I'm going to use it again. Uh, we just need diamond pickaxes and we're good. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Uh, okay. My... Warwick my last more. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Where's the initiative? Oh, it's the, it's got it's got special. It's a button little it's got a little button, a little special button. Got it. And who are we Remember rolling into this button. as well? Captain Elena Sartell and Flapjack is here. Okay. Let's see. Helene, Triple A, Pine, Xanth, Commodore Crux. Uh, I am missing one blast him off. Oh, you got him in there. I just need to select him. Okay. At a five, we love that for him. Okay. Oh, I it wow, rolled, rolled real well. It rolled uh, Helene again. That's my bad. Uh, so Blastmoth has a five. Helene has a twenty. Helene has a twenty. I oh, forgot okay. to click her his no, token. Okay. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Helene, you feel like you have the initiative here. You feel like you 
get to move first as the combat commences. And then time like office manager is proud shifts of me. around you. And the Zodar grabs you with a force pull from this far away. I need you to roll me a constitution saving throw. Is he a Jedi? Maybe. What's happening here? So what if he is? <laughs> Maybe he is. <laughs> What's it to you? I don't... That is a five on the con save. You will take 4d10 force damage. Of course I will. And he will teleport you to directly in front of him. Can I... Uh, or 21 <laughs> force damage. Uh, ouch. Um, can I uncanny dodge this at all, or am I just being pulled? Uncanny dodge is a direct attack against you. This is an this is effect not... or a spell. Oh, this is... this is that, That's what I call a loophole. Mm. Um, Indeed. But you are now in front of him, <laughs> and it is now your turn. Well, I'm pissed, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, Helene's like... You, you can't just pull a woman like that. That's not how things work. This is the future. This is the year. Whatever it is. <laughs> Whatever, Whatever it is. is. This star date 6969. <laughs> you can't just do this. Uh, I mean, this is this is what we do. And we're going to, you know, proverbially, proverbially I, I assume, you know, Helene assumes that there's that this is maybe a man and may have um parts of some sort, so she's going to aim for the parts with you her rapier. You can just assume rape, it's started at 69, 69. <laughs> No, it was the behavior, though. It was the uh, behavior of just pulling a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, you want to do that. A 26 will hit as you find your way into the exposed portions of the armor here. So go ahead and roll damage. Uh, you do not get sneak attack for this. Okay. So you will yeah, deal no, nine. Yeah. As the rapier scrapes in through the armor. Is uh, generally, I mean, maybe maybe you'll have me roll something, but would I know that obs is obsidian metal? Is obsidian metal. W or do we even know um, this is obsidian? A suit of obsidian being the color. Yeah. So it is a, it is a black me metal. Uh, that is. Okay. Yeah. Descriptionary obsidian rather than like Minecraft obsidian. It's, it's gotcha. not like a stone. Yeah. So a rock. Yeah, it yeah, does okay. seem metallic as your blade slides past. Gotcha. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Aline, that is your action. Do you have any bonus actions you want to use? Um. Not yet. No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, Xanth. Pine, you have control of Xanth. What would you like to do? Yeah, yeah, see, uh, uh, noticing that, you know, boss got, you know, force grabbed from, like, left field. I'm, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have Xantha do, uh, two long-range attacks with his longbow. Absolutely. That is oh, an I eight. It's okay. That's an eight. Darn. Uh, okay. he gets in a second one as well. Remember, he's multi-attack. Yep. And what a the six. Man? The arrows. <laughs> Radiant energy suffusing the arrows go tink, tink, and just fall against the armor. I, since I'm still on his back, I'm slapping back the head. Like, what are you doing? Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll do better. I'm just, I mean, this is the Zodar. This is a legendary protector of the Xerixian Empire, all right? I'm a little unnerved. And you know what? You know what we have that he doesn't? What? Great pasta making skills and friendship. <laughs> that is correct. Like, yes, all right. <laughs> he don't have that knowledge, you know, being all knowing and stuff like that. He don't know. He don't know how to make good, you know, al dente pasta. I'll tell you that. Well, why don't you or go anything. show him then? I don't think he wants the I, pasta. How does he eat? I thought you were going to pull out the power of friendship and just. <laughs> give him we were close. Some we were close. <laughs> um, yeah, so whoop his butt. So Xanth still has movement, if you would like to move him somewhere. Uh, if he moves, does he take me with him? I you are still backpacked. So yes, he has okay. So he has essentially half his move speed while you're yeah, latched onto him. Okay, cool. Let's see here. So let's go. Uh, we're going to go right here. Okay. And that will... 
Yeah. End our turn, or end his turn. Excellent. Triple A. All right. Oh, so many choices with no spells. <laughs> So many. I only have one spell slot. Left. So just, many choices. Zero just, spell um, slots. I think that I will just cast a cave trip. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna step out to the side here a bit. Let me let me look at this description again. Sorry. It's good to be sure oh, in this I, combat. <laughs> I am going to cast Acid Splash. Yeah. Somewhere. It's kind of like in the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Targeting the Zodar. To, to, to the first ping was over by the, the Prince I, I know, Princess. I know, I know. I was worried. <laughs> I was worried about I'm, that. I'm going to cast like, Acid Splash right here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to read this to see. I, if I target choose two. one or two. choose one or two. Okay, mm -hmm. cool, cool. I don't have to. Yeah, you don't have That's to. That's what I was reading for. I was like, I don't want to. Okay, absolutely. 16 DC. So it's a DC 16 dexterity save. Uh, he is going to fail the dexterity saving throw. The acid is going to splash onto him. And you get a front row seat here, Helene, that the acid does nothing. It does not affect the armor Good. at all. Good. The question is, does it affect me if I touch it? <laughs> <laughs> I would suggest not doing that. <laughs> Bonus action, chest cannon. Yeah. You unfurl the chest cannon to blast him. Uh, 20? A 20 will just hit. Oh, all right. That'll do three feet, uh, or three. Did you just sorry. say 20 just hits? Yes. I did indeed say that. <laughs> Six points of force damage, and he gets pushed, pushed backwards. Feet yeah, so he'll get pushed directly ten feet backwards from you, kind of like floating out uh, over the platform here because he just floats. Uh, and he will take oh, six cool. points of too. force damage. Yeah, does force him away from you. Excellent. And I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna chill back here. I might I might take a, a small step forward here just to stay in a decent range. Absolutely. But, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll move up there. Captain Elena Sartell is pretty much just melee only. She's only got two daggers left to throw. Uh, so she'll do her 30 uh, and is just going to throw both of them and hope for the best. It's an 11 and a 10. She is not going to be able to hit on either. Pine. All right. Let me double check this because I don't want to mess it up. Oh, wait. <laughs> All right. I am just within range. All right. You see from Xanth's back what looks like a giant backpack, but all of a sudden, two little baby arms come out <laughs> and they start doing this, like the crab. And then they cast Fairy Fire. All right. They're going to cast Fairy Fire in a zone to hopefully hit the, the Zodar here uh, and no one else. Roll a little deck save on this. Uh, he is going to fail. That is an 11 on the deck save. So he is now marked by your fairy fire. We're figuring out he's not very dexterous. No, not very quick. Very beefy though. Pine, just that is your action. Uh, you just want to continue to be a backpack? Yeah. All right, perfect. Warwick, blast him off. Uh, so with a perfect opportunity that has been thrown away from uh, for any friendlies, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna toss a lovely little force grenade. Oh, okay. Didn't you run out of force grenades on the ship? I did. He nope. Didn't. Oh, okay. Did okay. Only one. Only one of them did. Yeah. Okay. So the force grenade has a, a huge radius. Um, do you think Warwick cares about the civilians? Uh, <laughs> I don't. You tell me. Does he care about the civilians? Um, uh, what is the radius on it? it? to the left a little bit. What is it's um, a 20? It is 60, no, he can throw it 60 feet. It's a 20 foot radius. I mean, you can't, <laughs> you'll end oh, up God. hitting one of the guards, but you can. I thought, I thought those were plants. Those are people. Those are all those people. Are <laughs> those are, that's the, the huge crowd that is here watching. Is it bad to hit the guard? Uh, um, you throw the force grenade, the guard dives out of the way. It's probably fine. Just throw okay. the grenade. They're, they're right. not involved in this combat, so don't worry about them. 
Okay. Oh. Uh, grenade lands at a 20-foot radius. Must make a DC 15 deck saver. Take 5d6 force damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll a deck save. Uh, dude, I have failed all these. I'm going to use a legendary resistance here. The Zodar is going to use a legendary resistance against the force grenade. So roll me 5d6, and he's going to take half, and then roll another d6 to see if you have more grenades. But they get advantage on it. Uh, advantage for what? Because of fairy fire? Ah, force grenade is an area of effect, uh, kind of like oh. a spell, rather than an actual it's a attack. Save, yeah. mm -hmm. So if he, uh, whoever shoots grenades. at him is going to end up having that. You're out of grenades. Okay, well, it does a, a nice 18 have down to nine. I did not want to take 18 points of damage here. Okay. All right. Uh, does Warwick move? Um, what's the distance here? It is 55. No, he's he's gonna stay right there. Okay. Excellent. Well, wait, wait. It says. So, what does 40 slash 20 feet mean on the musket range? Uh, 40 is uh, wait slash 20 or is it slash 120? 120. Sorry. 120. Yeah. So standard range is between zero and 40. And then anything from 40 to 120 is at disadvantage. Oh, okay. So much like I, your dagger I, throwing or short bow or anything yeah, else. Yeah, mm -hmm. I understood that wrong then. I'm going to move him to... Oh, he would be this guy. Um, Here, I guess, yeah. Move 30 feet. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, no, that was right. Okay. Uh, yeah, so keep in mind, we're going to just put him here. This is a ring. Oh. Remember, you came up a ramp. This interior oh. ring is 20 feet up off the ground. Well, then, uh, okay. Oh, so then is he on? Is he lower than us right now, then? He is floating. Remember, he's, oh, he's floating. like I said, when he got pushed away, he's just floating in the same space okay. just over then I'm going to move the him drop. up here pretty much parallel with AAA. Okay, perfect. Uh, the Zodar is, yeah, just going to kind of float out in space here, this direction, uh, and is going to... Ooh. AAA, roll me a constitution saving throw as he attempts to pull you to him. Con save. Oh, where'd you go? This, was that a save? That is a 20. You do in... <laughs> you just fail. It is a DC was a, 21 was a con check. save. What? Excuse me? What is the bonus no, to your constitution save? Four more. Four more? Good. Yeah, okay. 25. So you will save. You'll take half the amount of force damage and not move. So it's 4d10 halved, 23 halved down to 11. And you so will I not have to move. net 20 to, to resist that. Good. That sucks. <laughs> it's a good thing y'all have so many in your pocket right now <laughs> to utilize. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Unable to make you move in that fashion, he's going to instead move forward and utilize his crushing fist attack, where he's going to try and punch you here as an 18 to hit for uh, 26 force damage. I will reaction shield with my last spell slot. There it is. <clears throat> yeah, so the crushing fist, you watch as your magical shield crunches and spider That's webs underneath Sorry. the blow. Wait, do, do I get four net Ignore 20s? That. You get four? Yes, because you did do the, the recap. Uh, okay, so you used the the shield spell, it's thunderclap in there for yep. a particular reason or no? No, that was the misclick. Sorry. All good. Okay, yeah, so the shield will eat the punch there, protecting you from 26 force damage. Uh, Commodore Crux. Uh, Crux is going to... Remember, the fairy fire is still affecting him, so... Shots, advantage. attacks, and otherwise yeah. have advantage. Yeah, well, Crux is back here. Uh, he's on a disadvantage for range. Here it is. He have to step back. Does he have to step back? No, no, oh, no, no. Sorry, it's, sorry. It's I was looking, I was looking at the 40. other one. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the other one. Yep. Uh, okay, then we will take two uh, musket shots from here, I suppose. Yeah, the, absolutely. Uh, how do I roll advantage on? Uh, oh, so it automatically does. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we just right. take the higher. There it is. 20, 20 will just hit for 11 piercing. 20, hey, 22 will hit go. for three more for 14 total as the musket balls pink, pink, and dent into the armor here. Nice. Awesome. 
And I think the, I think I'm just gonna keep more. Leave him there at the range. Okay. Flapjack is going to hover forward and go. I've only got one of these, but let's go ahead and use it. And he's gonna just cast magic missile. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so he'll cast ah, magic missile. And three little pew 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 force bullets come out of him here. Uh, it is going to do a nice, a tidy 11 points of damage. Can't he like squish into a pancake and then slip in between the cracks of armor? Just uh, become the <laughs> armor? Uh, no, but you could suggest that to him, I suppose. Just because his no. name is Flapjack. No, no we almost lost him once. We won't lose him again. <laughs> okay. Uh, Helene, no longer face to face with the Zodar, but off to the side. What would you like to do? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Helene is not spec for any type of range. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna we're gonna come up behind him. Okay. About here, and uh, we're going to. I know we still have advantage, but I'm still gonna do it anyway. We're gonna use a nat twenty. Yeah, absolutely. And, and shocking grasp him. Okay. Yes. Uh, so roll your shocking grasp with the nat twenty usage. It's just it's lit. It's just an auto hit, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're gonna use one of your nat twenties here. So roll shocking grasp, and then roll me the damage here. And I think you're going to roll it twice. Yeah, so click the button one more time. It does 48 points of lightning damage. And what you'll find is that the lightning, unlike the acid, does seem to work. And it just, like, the armor electrifies outwards here. Uh, additional things on hit target takes lightning damage and cannot take reactions. So nicely done for 21 total points of lightning damage. He can no longer take reactions for the round. He grabbed me, so I tased him. Yeah, you tased him. No grabby. Okay, no excellent. Grabby, yeah. grabby. Good use. Um, Helene, anything else? You you can freely step away from him if you'd like to, because he cannot take reactions. Um, in that case, yeah, I'm just gonna step back like ten feet. Yeah, perfect. Okay, Xanth. Can Xanth shoot? like get a clear shot of him because triple A is there. Yeah, we've always done that you can shoot through your allies because we expect that you go, hey, duck, so I don't shoot you in the back of the head. Okay, okay. He's gonna do a longbow uh, again. Yeah, with advantage this time. Uh, 16, unfortunately will miss as it plinks off the armor. As he shoots, then... the triple A's head goes into his chest cavity like a transformer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just Overwatch. You can shoot through oh your friends. Oh my yeah. gosh. And a 12 again. Both arrows, ping, ping. While flying gonna... off the armor. He uses movement. So it's going to go 5, 10, 15. So we're going to move right here. There. I'm going to say his obsidian color is not the uniform, not the correct uniform of these light people. <laughs> it's fine. He's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. And that's it for Xanth? Yes, that will end his turn. Triple A. All right. Well, uh, considering he's not taking any reactions, I'm going to step away. I'm going to move away. away. Yeah, I'm gonna, exactly. Uh, I'm going to go. How far can I go? Let's see. Where's the 30 feet? <laughs> I'm gonna back all the it's way over here. It's time to go all the way over here. And then I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a pistol shot. Uh, Absolutely. No, now that. Oh, it's rolled with the. Oh, twenty-two, the range, right? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, twenty-two absolutely hits. The pistol shot will hit for seven. Seven piercing, and then I think I'm gonna use a nat twenty on that force cannon. Uh, Absolutely. From range, so seven plus. 22 more with the force cannon. 22 pushed, more! Jeez. Push 10 feet again. Nicely done using one of your three current nat 20s. But yes, you'll get pushed 10 feet away from you in this direction. Okay. He's now out floating above the platform here, above the crowd below. Uh, Big 29 total points of damage on it. Nice. And the, and the crowd rises up in Rebellion of the Empire and takes him down. Right, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, totally, yeah. totally, totally, mm -hmm. totally, totally. Uh, Elena goes, mm -hmm. I, I can't get him out of there. Um, and she's just going to wait by you, Helene, to hope that he gets close enough to hit. She has to hold her action. She does not have any more melee daggers, or uh, excuse me, daggers to throw uh, remaining. Hold! Hold! <laughs> Pine. 
Uh, yeah, I'd like to cast Fireball. Nice. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, uh, wait. I, I would like to use Nat 20 on this. Okay, so generally, Nat 20s are for attacks or saves or whatever, but for this, I've done for, like, you just double the damage. Fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The Fireball comes out. Uh... We'll give it. We'll give it a nice little. This this is one of them dark and darker spells, right? They stole that from this. Yeah, or yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. The dark. Uh, they stole it from dark and darker. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, it's yeah, a okay, fireball. Okay. We. It's probably oh God. fine. Barbecued people. So roll. <laughs> just roll the fireball again. Uh, okay. So he does get to attempt to save. Um. And then you're just going to roll the damage again. So it's a total of 16d6 uh, for 57 total points of damage. And what you'll note is as the fireball explodes, the Zodar makes zero attempt to dodge it. The fire is absorbed by the armor, seemingly oh. dealing no damage. Oh, that's not good. It was forged in the fires of hell. <laughs> or man the fires of a Xerixian star. Either way. Ah, shit. Uh, now you didn't, it's you made didn't of say Mjolnir. that he was made in a star. That's unfair. <laughs> That's unfair. <laughs> yeah, the prince behind yeah, you goes, made a... he was made in a star. <laughs> All of us were made in a star, so that's really not If a you were made fight. in a star, you got to tell us. It's, that's the law. Cool. <laughs> Uh, Gosh dang it, and I slap Xan's shoulder. Ow! Hey, I'm already having trouble firing off these arrows. I'm sorry, that was supposed to be to me. But you were, you know, kind of kind of on your shoulder, so just, you know. I sorry. will say, from experience, it is hard to shoot a bow with a big heavy backpack on your back. Okay. You're saying I'm heavy. I mean, nope. you, you wear a lot of armor. Nope. <laughs> All right. That will end Hi, my turn. That's it. All right, Warwick. Actually, wait. I'll use my movement to hop off. Okay. Actually, yeah, you'll just fine. see the backpack just kind of fall backwards. <laughs> and then, poof, it's me. And then this is where he gets his, uh, where Xanth gets his Goku moment, where he takes off the weights, and now he's at full power. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, so Warwick blast him off. Um, yeah, how far back did that push him? 25 feet? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna move back then. We're gonna move toward, well, that'll be closer. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the edge, um, of this, this, uh, thing here. Okay. And then, uh, uh shoot my gun. Mm -hmm. He's gonna, Warwick's gonna shoot his, shoot my gun. <laughs> um, at, uh, at the, the big floating, metal thing yeah absolutely with advantage due to the fairy fire still being in effect here uh 16 will plink off the armor oh uh eyes was closed uh i'll try it again 10 eyes still closed unfortunately i forgot to open them up <laughs> <laughs> okay uh all right Any, anything else for warwick nope uh, the Zodar is going to force Warwick to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Utilizing its force to teleport, the force pull here. He's a big boy. Hopefully this works. 16? It does not. It's a DC 21 constitution saving throw. He will take 12 points of damage. This thing's strong. Appear in front of the Zodar, where he will utilize Crushing Fist to hit him. Uh, twice? That is a 24 on the first and a 34 on the second. The total amount of damage dealt here is going to be 29, 49, 54 points of damage. And yeah, then a lot of Warwick damage. drops to the floor 20 feet below. Oh, that's not good. Cool. Another 2d6 of fall damage for seven and Warwick is on the ground. Awesome. We love this. Commodore Crux. Hmm, Commodore Crux. I suppose we'll just take a couple of more shots here. 
Warwick is not looking good now. <clears throat> 14 not, and will hit. miss. 23, however, will find the mark for 12 total points of piercing damage. Nicely done. Uh, and I think that... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think he's just going to chill. He's going to just stay right here. Absolutely. Uh, Flapjack, I don't know if he can do anything here, uh, is going to go, uh, Well, I can try and fly out there and, 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 and zap him one. And he's... He's going to float. How far is this? Oh, God. I can't even reach him. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll provide a... Oops. I'm, I got bigger. Flanking. <laughs> Aha! Flapjack will float behind him. He's going to reach out with his little tendrils to try and zap, but cannot do that yet. Elaine, the Zodar floats out in space some 20 feet uh, up above the, the base floor here. Level with you above Warwick. Mm hmm. Uh, there's not a whole lot we can do, but I could just, I, oh, yeah, Helene could just shoot some magic missiles out at him. Yeah, absolutely. So go Oops. ahead. Uh, if you're going to do the base level one, just roll it two more times. Gives you a higher average. Two, two, yeah, and three. So seven total force bullets here to the Zodar. Okay. Um. That is the action. Yeah. I. Mm, she doesn't want to leave the captain here, so we're just, we're gonna stay right here. Okay. Xanth. Has, Xanth uh, is gone! All right, I'll do Xanth. Gone to sleep for a second. Yeah, Xanth is going to move a little bit here, and then is going to fire off two more arrows. My man's going to be running out of arrows here soon. Uh, and then it'll be triple A after the longbow twice. 20 and 23 with the advantage. Both will hit for four, nice. nine piercing, and 20... Was that 22? 22 radiant damage? Damn. Okay. He is not resistant to radiant damage either. Oh, so I, see. I was just the one holding him back. It does seem to be that way. <laughs> it's because I'm fat! <laughs> <laughs> You're qu Tri quite literally big boned. You're yeah. therapist. Triple A. Um. Okay, I'm going to take a shot with the pistol. Hey, you'll hit. 24 hits. Um, Two. And then I'm going to use the chest cannon, but I have a question. What's up? I have arcane firearm. Can that be applied to the chest cannon? It's usually when you focus a spell through a gun. Not sure if that applies to the force, uh, force the, ballista. Uh, the force, the force ballista is not a spell. Okay, cool. Yeah, it Fair is just an—it's an additional weapon. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is only when uh, uh, using it as a spell casting focus. So, Are you sure you don't want to cast arcade fire? I wish I, wish I could. <laughs> I will, however, use another nat twenty. Oh come on! Game. All right. <laughs> yeah all right they're there 16, and then he gets pushed 10 more feet gets pushed 10 feet back five ten all right if we push him out of the circle it's at that's like it's like wrestling he's, rules he's, right he's, he's like gone out, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah okay he steps out uh elena like can't, self, self can't do anything here she has to wait she's holding her action pine Uh, I would like to cast Guiding Bolt. Absolutely. Excellent. Do you Where's wanna, the button? Do you want to use your nat 20 for this, or do you want to rely on the advantage from Fairy Fire? Advantage from... Uh, 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 I'll use my nat 20. 
Okay. So you're gonna roll Guiding Bolt twice. Uh, the damage twice. Because it's just gonna hit. They're gonna click that Guiding Bolt button twice. Oh, we upcast it too? Okay. I only upcast it once. Uh, so, I mean, you still get the additional D6 on that, too. Yeah. So, roll me another D6. Damn. Okay. Yeah, that really hurts. That is actually a lot. So far, that's 36 plus whatever this D6 is. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Slash R space. There you go. For another four. 40 total points. Please tell me he doesn't absorb this. He does not. Okay, awesome. The armor begins to look banged up. It's looking a little wounded. All right, I'm going to use my movement. Damn, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm going to move right here. All right, Pine. Good job. Warwick blast him off from down below. Big old 9 HP remaining. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... <clears throat> He's gonna get. He's gotta get as much distance as he can from this guy because he's. But it's a bit scary. Okay. Um, can you? Is would it? Be, is it only viable to get up on the platform via one of the ramps? The ramps, because the platform is twenty feet up. He cannot make a, yeah. a vertical. It's not like it's not like a slope or anything. Correct. Okay. Um. So he would need okay. to to push through the crowd and make it to the the ramp. Well, he's gonna start. He's gonna start heading that way. Absolutely. Yeah, right there's good. And uh yeah, I mean as he's running, he's just gonna shoot shoot back. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> doo, 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 there it is. Bam. Eleven, unfortunately. Bam. Unable to hit here. The twenty one, however, will find the mark for another eight. Nicely it's done. because uh, instead of closing his eyes, he was just looking away. <laughs> so that 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 was just better for him for some reason. Perfect. Love that. Uh, okay. The Zodar. Pine, you have proven yourself to be, uh, significantly a problem. I need you to roll me a constitution saving throw. You are a problem. You feel the air crush in around you, and the force teleport happening. Fortunately, that does not save. It'll take 4d10. Uh, yep. Flash of genius. Add 5 to it. Okay. You'll take the half at 11 as you feel your friend triple A preventing the teleport from happening. I shoot him in the hand. <laughs> Bang! Ah! You'll take 11 points of force damage still here. Uh, and okay. then, well, that is unfortunate. I do need a cons uh, constitution saving throw for the fairy fire. DC 10, it's not oh, very yeah, high, right. but it is a concentration check. Nice, good job. Uh, that means the only people that are in range for this, the Zodar is going to punch Flapjack. No! Because <laughs> uh, he's... Like swatting a fly? Because he's this is, right this is here. a funny image to me. It's, just, uh, like, it's, Flap it's a 32 to hit. Oh my god. Flapjack will take 27 oh. force damage and just get no! catapulted away. Uh, it's like punching and a jellyfish. He falls 20 feet to the ground. What the? Zodar will finish its move in front of Helene. Helene. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to use one of my nat 20s. Of course you are. Uh-huh. Uh, it is 4d10 plus 10 in damage. Quick counter with your nat 20! <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't I think I can counter. I rolled very low. 25 total. Because this is an attack, you can use your reaction to yeah. uncanny dodge. Yeah. I am going to uncanny dodge. Is okay. that so? It seven? halves it again. So, uh, so Great. twenty. It's twenty-five half down because it's it's oh, four d ten plus ten. Oh right, right, right. So it'll be twelve. So it's twelve. So it goes up. Okay. It's twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's one of mine. I rolled a real low on that. Two ones, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Appreciate Two ones it. and a three on 4d10. You got a 10 out of there. 
Commodore Crux. Couple of shots. Eighteen, not gonna do it. Eighteen is not enough. Thirteen is not enough. Nope. Or Flapjack lies on the ground. Okay. Uh, Flapjack's on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and GM roll something. It's fine. Is he? Is he like moving on the ground? <laughs> He, uh, his tentacles <laughs> twitch awkwardly. <laughs> like, a, like a dead bug? <laughs> oh, no. Helene! You're face to face uh -huh. with the Zodar. What do you want to do? Oh, I mean, currently, it's, it's just a, it's a, it's a slightly bloody nose. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Um, uh, I could use steady aim, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna use another natural twenty. That that would be how that happened. Yes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna grab him again. I'm gonna shock and grasp. Okay. It's made of metal too. Yep. Roll it twice. Uh the the damage. Sorry. Sorry. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. And he can no longer take reactions on this round. As he is, the, the armor is vibrating outwards. Uh, and I'm going to walk away. <laughs> Absolutely. Around, baby. <laughs> We're going to go like 20 feet. Yeah. Okay. And we're done. It is Zant's turn. Yeah, he's just going to use his longbow twice. Absolutely. With the advantage here. That's a natural 20. Hell yeah. Let's have it go. 17, Whoa. unfortunately, will miss, but he will deal 7 piercing and 21 radiant damage. That's pretty good. That is a huge amount. And the arrow finds its way in there, and you watch as the radiant energy just, like, explodes inside the armor. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's pretty good. The Goku cool effect, turn. I'm telling you, it's real. Yeah. Okay. Anything else for Xanth? Nope. Okay. Triple A. Ooh. Or the Rock Lee, whatever you want to call it. I will, uh... Yes. I'll just shoot with the pistol again here for the first one. 20. Oh. 20 does hit for seven. Seven. Okay. Pressing on that one, and I hate to keep doing it, but I'm going to nap 20 my force cannon. Okay. <laughs> my last one. Yeah. I mean, you got to do it. And that'll be 30. Oh, my one. God. Damage. <laughs> and he gets pushed 10 feet. That's, is that Ooh. one off max? Jesus. Yeah, it's one off That's max. one off max. Damn, son. Okay. All right. Good job. Good job, Triple A. There's anybody inside that suit of armor, they're probably feeling pretty banged up right now. It's, uh, yeah, that is well done. Okay. Elaine is just like, all right, I'll just, I'll just Yeah, chill. she's like, I, cool. I can't, still can't do anything. I'm just going to sit here. Sorry. Fine. Uh, yeah, I would like to use a, a, a guiding bolt again. Or no, okay. did I use guiding bolt or did I use scorching ray? You used guiding, guiding bolt. bolt. Yeah, I like to use Guiding Bolt again. Okay. Uh, but I won't use a nat 20. I will just, so just with the go advantage. at the advantage. Sure. Yes. Damn. You roll one more time. You have advantage, remember. Okay. That's just 19. Try again. So roll one more. If it's higher, we take that. Unfortunately, Damn. the 19 will just splash against the armor. Shoot. Okay. Okay. That will end my turn. All right. Horwick, blast him off. Oh, he's kind of far now. Oh, he's not that far. We're good. Um, he's going to move to the ramp. He's not going to go all the way up, though. He's just going to be at the top of the ramp. Okay. Uh, and then he's going to fire away. Okay. Uh, at this range, these are straight rolls uh, because he is over 40 feet. Okay. Uh, so you just roll it. We take the first number that, that appears. Yeah. We, do we don't have that advantage thing on him anymore? No, you're out of range. Between 40 yeah, and yeah, 120 yeah. feet is at disadvantage. 
So it is canceled by oh, the so fairy it's fire. So it is just a normal roll. Got it. Yep, so 14 and 23. Nicely done. I'll do it once. Yeah, yeah 13 you know. more piercing damage. Excellent. Okay. He'll, he'll still take 50% accuracy. It's fine. Mm hmm. Pine, roll me a constitution saving throw. As you feel the air crush in around you once again, the Zodar attempts to teleport you. 23. You'll take the half uh, of. 4d10, and you do not get teleported. Take 15 points of force damage. Man, this episode is all about telling Pine that they're heavy. Uh, and I need a constitution saving throw for fairy fire. And y'all are... Hey. Okay. Hey. Maintaining. I can feel him trying to fucking pull me over, and I go... Hey. You gotta roll poorly through the whole series so that the last episode is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, there's only two actual people in range here, and one is closer. Uh oh. She's been holding her action the entire time. Elena Sartel with the scimitar. Key up! That's an 11. No! <laughs> but you have a nat 20 you could give her. <laughs> ah, it is your role. You're very funny. Um, She's your character. Yeah, that's never happening. Uh, so, the Zodar <laughs> rolls a 21 and a 29, dealing 49 force damage to Elena Sartell. Don't don't let anyone ever tell you that D and D is not us versus the DM. <laughs> hey, to be fair, just, back when I it. did have one, I did use it for Xanth. Uh, when he helped you out with the clowns, all right? You know, it's all it's all good there. Um, as the punches hit here on Elena, you feel something shift in the room, and the flickering light of the star changes somewhat. You watch as little motes of light flow from the font towards the Zodar. Oh, come on. Oh, uh-uh. Commodore Crux. He's gonna... Hmm. One second. He's gonna take two shots at the thing, at the at the guy. Okay. I, I thought maybe he might be smart enough to try to shoot the moats. It's always good to check. Yeah, twenty three hits for five. Twenty two hits for another five for ten more. That's it. He's just gonna chill here. Mm hmm. Uh. Zodar is going to begin using legendary actions. Oh, rah, rah, rah. yep, we got to that point. That's why I said thanks, AAA. So great. He punches Elena, twenty-seven to hit for thirty force damage. Christ. She goes flying backwards, skidding along the ground. She is down. Flapjack. His tentacles lie still. Aline. <laughs> His tentacles lie still. He was twitching Wonderful. and now he's not. Yep, and now he's not twitching anymore. That's uh, lovely. That's a good sign, right? Mm-hmm. Mm, yep. Mm-hmm. He's, mm -hmm. he's, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. He's <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> um Can I can I look at the boats and know anything about them? Uh, it looks like pieces of the light of the Xerixis are making its way to the Zodar. I don't know if you know what that means. Okay. Right. Other than the prince well, having then. said, it was forged in the heart of our star, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't know if mm -hmm. you know anything else. All right. Well, then, you know, things have been working the way they've been working. We have to, we have to throw the final blow. We're going to come up behind them. Mm-hmm. And uh, use our final D20, or roll tw uh, natural 20. Uh huh. And we're, we're gonna shock him right in his booty again. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. This is the last one for Helene. Oops. For 17, 17. total points, preventing uh, reactions here. And the armor itself is looking crushed up. Radiant damage has really been hurting it. It's kind of awkwardly moving now with the lightning through its system. Uh, 
I, 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 I gotta run to, to Elena here. Okay. Cannot take a reaction against you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then I'm done for now. I couldn't do, like, I couldn't try to use medicine on her or anything, right? You've used your action to attack. That's not, yeah, that's not a bonus action. Okay. Then, yeah, uh, I, I'm just, I'm next to her. Okay. Before Xanth can even get the bow ready, I need Xanth to roll me a constitution saving throw as the Zodar will use its second legendary action of the round. Uh, okay, hold on. For him, it's just going to probably say con. The seven. He takes 21 force damage and is teleported in front of the Zodar. Awkward. Okay, it is his turn. What do you want to do? Uh, he going to try and stab him with his longsword twice. Okay. 13 oh my God. clangs off the armor. The oh 19 my God. will just miss as the Zodar is able to get an armored arm up in time. Okay. Triple A. I'm going to run over next to Pine. And I'm going to start with a force cannon. Okay. Uh, which I actually have to roll this time. Oh, it's a nat 20. Stop, dude. Come on. No. God. I don't need, I don't need chat. Oh. You don't need anything. Someone buy me another one. Triple no, A, I'm coming for you. God, 21. 21. Force, and he gets pushed. 10 feet back. I'm trying to do this at an angle where he's not going to fall off. Sure. So he's not like out in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're in a perfect diagonal for this. So he's just going to go cool. down the diagonal. Cool. And then, uh, so and then as my action, I want to, my range in here. I think, yep. So nice. Uh, I want to shoot Clarence out of my gun to deliver a thunderclap. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. I wish everybody had this perspective I had on the screen because I have everybody stacked up vertically and then Joel went like this and his hands were out of frame just up top uh -huh. and then Cat Cat's hands were just right above it clapping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right, we deliver the... the yes, yeah, so you got to shoot to hit. 20 just hits to deliver right. the top hat mechanical spider payload. Uh, he does take whatever the pistol damage is, remember. Oh, yep. That's right. That's right. Pistol damage. For, For four. four uh, plus whatever the damage he had taken from the previous fight. I'm trying to remember what that was. Mm -hmm. Going to go look at him. Uh, so he takes four, and then it's a con save for the Zodar against the Thunderclap here. Uh, and as soon as roll 20 loads, I will roll that. Uh, it's a 23 on the save. Damn. Uh, so Clarence had 14 and was shot twice. It was like two, three, and then this is four, I, right? Yeah, so I he's rolled at a, seven. I, yeah, I remember rolling a one mm -hmm. last time. But that was it. So he's got like seven left. He's doing fine. Okay. Uh, okay, but the con save there will be enough against the thunderclap. It does make that exploding sound, but unfortunately it does not deal him any damage here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Elena is down. She's gonna roll a GM something or another. Take it a nap. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> she, she just taking a little Yeah. Nap. Okay. Uh, after Elena's turn, the last legendary action of the round, the Zodar is going to punch Clarence. No. <laughs> Jeez. It is a 19 for 17 force damage as he crushes oh, yeah. Clarence in a fist. I don't even know Clarence's AC, but I'm assuming that. It ain't that high. <laughs> well, <clears throat> he died as he lived. Okay. Warwick. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Pine, Pine, you're first. I'm going to use one of my nat 20s with my guiding bolt again. Uh, okay. This is a... God, you have so many of these. 
is an unacceptable amount of nat 20s. No, it's a perfect amount. What do you mean? You created the system. I don't know why you're... I don't think it's enough, <laughs> to be honest. You created the system. <laughs> what? Okay, blame me for that. God, the creator. How dare you? Okay. Most yes. people do. Guiding bullet. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll the damage twice for me, Pine. Okay. Uh, what? All this tells me is that it's not, it's not And then, enough. wait, let me check. Let me check. Oh, I got it. I'm good. Okay, I could do it. Oh, uh, what the f So it'll be that, it'll be 10. <laughs> uh, so it'll be 24 total. Oh, okay. Let me get rid of those spell slots. 24 okay. total. All right. Ozzy, look. I mean... He's looking pretty damn rough. Um, the armor is suffering at this point. But the moats are, oh, I don't know, roughly 1.2 seconds away from arriving at the armor. 1.2 seconds. Yeah, and like, you know, how like... How much more rough can he look? Like one Warwick blast him off turn. Ah! Warwick. <sighs> Do we go? We gotta go for him, right? Yeah. Um. However, move up twenty feet or so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we're and we're gonna yeah we're gonna shoot him. Absolutely. Pew. Uh, Eighteen. Eight, Eleven. 18, 18 will clang off the armor. 16, 16 will do the Are same. Are you kidding me? Okay. About that time, mate, chap. About that time. Pine, roll me a constitution saving throw. This is the worst timeline! <laughs> <laughs> Well, several people have mustaches on, so... That is a nine. Uh-oh. Take 16 points of force damage. And are teleported to the Zodar's side. Ah! Uh. I need one con save, so far, for the... If he gonna hit me, I'm gonna use my warding flare on him. I know. I know. I figured... I figured you would. Fortunately, someone just purchased me another reroll, so I may use that. Um, so you use your warding flare. That 30, that was the first one, is a 20 on the second roll. Which will hit. And hits for 24 total points of damage. The second hit is a 26 for 21 more for 45 total okay the motes of light reach the zodar and you watch as bits and pieces of the armor begin to piece themselves back together it's not fully healed in any way it still looks incredibly beaten up but it's a continuous stream from the light of xerixis so he seems to be moderately building himself up over time. More than likely, this is a safety measure for, you know, their quote-unquote guardian. So, Pine goes down. And the Zodar will move forward towards... Uh, oh, you know, we're going to put ourselves in between. It's Commodore Crux's turn. Oh, of course. Crux will take a couple shots. Crux is just sat over there, just like, bang, As bang. is tradition. Yeah. Uh, no longer with the advantage. Oh, no longer with the advantage. Correct. Uh, he is also at 45 feet, so he would need to take a, a okay, pre-step yeah, forward. Four. But he will do 14 and 22. And you watch as, like, the pieces that the moats had brought together, the 22, impacts that point of armor, exploding it off once again. Uh, seemingly, at least for now, keeping it net neutral. Okay. It's Crux's action. 
The Zodar will uh, use. Yep, that was his, that was it. Okay, the Zodar is going to utilize uh, his legendary action and a nat twenty uh, against Xanth. So it'll be two more d10. It was twenty-eight plus five for thirty-three points of damage against Xanth. Xanth is barely standing. Flapjack cool. again, nothing. Helene. <clears throat> Alright, um, well, now that we have so many people hurt and she has to make a tough decision on whether to spend her turn trying to resuscitate, you know, her, uh, The love fiance, of her life, yeah, <laughs> or... Her life. Uh, but this thing is so, so mangled, uh... I think I think especially now that it's in in melee range, I think we have to steady aim, uh, shock and grasp it again. We got it. We're gonna try to finish this thing off. Okay. Steady aim will give you advantage. Yeah. Shock and grasp. Twenty do twenty two does hit. Oh. Does that does that give me any? No, this doesn't give me any sneak, right? Mm -mm. No, melee attacks no, with finesse advantage. weapons okay. will get you sneak attack. Shock and Grasp is a touch right. spell. For 10. For 10 lightning. Yeah. You watch as the Zodar uh, begins to somewhat malfunction. It doesn't seem to be moving smoothly any longer. Uh, it stumbles here, and you watch as even its hovering capability, it drops to the platform. looking very rough, Helene. You big pile of junk. You choose to um, stay there. Yeah, I'm staying here. Okay. Um, using a legendary action, it will punch you. It's uh -huh. force crushing fist. The 32 to hit. Of course. Uh -huh. It's for 26 total force damage. Uh, okay. 26 total. Can I uncanny dodge? You can. Okay. All right. That's so much better because that's that's the difference between life and death. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Was it 13? 13. Okay. Ow. <laughs> it is Zant's turn. I could do this all day. Captain America <laughs> style. Uh, Xanth is going to use... Yeah, does Xanth attack uh, the Zodar or help Pine? Uh, the one person he's sworn to protect. He can't help her because he doesn't have anything to help her. That's true. You could try to stabilize. Xanth, kill this thing. Okay. Ah. Uh. Zanth would know that Pine would want him to try and take it down. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Six Ugh. clangs off the armor. The 19, uh, no longer with the advantage, uh, will just miss. He's going to use his movement to run over to Pine. Mm hmm. No reactions because yeah. the shocking grasp. What? So he, he doesn't take I an attack of opportunity. It, so he, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's oh, in so melee he range. So he can't take reaction if I move? Correct. Okay. I'm going to move him right here. Absolutely. And that will end his turn. The end of his turn. The Zodar will use his last legendary action to hit Helene again. There's a 34 or six, 16 more force damage. Oh. oh, damn it. I don't, I don't think I have an uncanny dodge. It's not you his turn again, it. right? You already used it. Yeah. Yep. Well, shit. So this, you All watch right. as Helene is knocked to the ground away from the Zodar. Triple A. Would have mm. been good. I would have had one HP.
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run up right in front of this thing. You said its feet were on the ground. I'm gonna I'm gonna force cannon it. Okay. Oh no. And that one, the force cannon goes off. Zodar is able to step, stagger to the side. Well, then I guess I'm just going to raise my gun real quick at him. Mm -hmm. And it's going to glow bright white as I'm going to use that ring on the inside of the barrel. He's got to make a deck saving throw of 15. That is a four. Well, then he's going to take as a giant ball of lightning is shot out of my gun and hits him in the chest. He's going to take 26 lightning huh. damage. He's not resistant. He is not immune. The lightning bolt lances out from the gun through the ring of stars. And you watch as the Zodar collapses to the ground. The Zodar, the armor clanking, grinding to a halt, collapses onto the ground. Little motes of light still sit stagnant in the air from the light of Xerixis in the center of the temple. The prince cries out after the defeat. There's a roar from the crowd, and we're going to take a break. When we come back... We find out the aftermath and who is proclaimed emperor. Well done. You did it. Do we still have opportunity to die here? Yes. We'll be right back. <laughs> Good. Oh, no. Welcome back. Dive Hall presents Spelljammer Adventures in Spase. The Zodar lies defeated. Some of our friends unconscious or worse. We're not sure. And as we come back to the battlefield, the priest's voice rings out through the temple. The Zodar is defeated! All hail Emperor Zedali! Zealoth lets out this strangled cry as his sister, the princess, and a couple of guards begin to step forward towards you, not even leaving you any time to examine your friends. She begins to approach AAA, smiling at you. My ring, AAA, if you please. <clears throat> well, uh, it, yeah, the the ring, sure, but uh, what about uh, what about all of our, our friends here? My ring, AAA. Well. Okay, let me see if I can get it off. Is you gonna try to pull it off the barrel of the gun? Yes. <laughs> One second, it's stuck. It's just... mm -hmm. As gets it off. Emperor, oh, I must reward my champions for this triumph. Guards, seize them. Uh, oh, sorry, what now? The remaining astral elf guards in the room will move to encircle. But will. Uh, AAA. not quite sure what's happening here. My ring. Uh, well, yeah, of course I'm was going to give it to you, but now it looks like you're about fixing to arrest us. And worse, should you not hand it over. We'll, uh... <clears throat> Before you can uh, make to remove the ring. A resounding voice issues from the Zodar. Astonishing everyone. The Ring of Stars must be taken to the heart of the star where it was forged for the universes to be saved. Golden light spilling out from the Zodar, intermixing with the current little light motes in the air. You watch as each of your friends cough themselves to consciousness here. Awakened and okay. The light continues to pour into them and you find that all of you feel invigorated, strong. 
your health points returned to maximum. As the light spills from the Zodar's fallen form and washes over you, it crumbles into dust. Zadali stands there, eyes wide at this. Triple A, give me the ring. <clears throat> and Triple A, I think, has pulled the ring off, but so it's like in his hand, but. Um. Well, uh. With all due uh, respect, uh, go fuck yourself. He's gonna put it on the end of the gun and shoot it at this, the light beam. Try to shoot the ring out. Try to shoot the <laughs> ring into the light beam. All right, roll for it. <laughs> Where? Where'd that go? Where'd that go? Because the center of the light beam is is a good distance from you. 18. An 18? Your range on the pistol is 30 to 90. This is a disadvantage. It's 55 oh, feet shit. away. 16. 16. The ring. <laughs> fired off from the gun towards the beam of light. Ka-tink, ka-tink, ka-tink. Lies just outside the center. Get the force cannon in it. <laughs> Zadali looks at you, looks at the guards, and then makes to run for it. Uh, the guards uh, move, and I need everyone to re-roll initiative. What? Oh my god! Ah! Some of you are coming out of unconsciousness. It's time to move. Oh, damn. Wait, so we just get our health up, right? Only we don't your get health is else. back. Nothing else is returned. Okay. okay. Ooh, the honor guard is rolling low. Real low. I rolled multiple nat ones in that. Um. Ooh, Xanth is low too. Warwick. Okay. Triple A, Warwick, Helene, Xanth, the princess. Uh, did we, did I get my other Commodore Crux? I think I still need. And then Warwick has the first initiative. Does he do anything? Uh, he was he was conscious the whole time, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the two old boys so are at the there's... top. This is great. It's Warwick and Commodore yeah, Crux yeah. to begin. Uh, he he probably would try to shoot the closest one to the ring, the the guard. What was that? You want to? Sh He's gonna pro like the like. Gonna try you know, and the shoot guards this are guy. Moving towards it, right? Yeah. Princess Zadali is moving towards it. The guards are moving towards you, including the one that's oh, literally next to them. I thought they were all them. going. Mm -mm. Oh, Zadali yeah. is moving for the ring. What's his intelligence? It's it's average. Uh, he's gonna shoot uh, Zadali then. Okay, with disadvantage as the uh, the honor guard here is able to be a threat. Yeah. Is it actively trying to arrest you? It's fine. Get off me. Twelve will That's miss. Twelve. Yeah. You get a second shot. Remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Multi attack. Twenty one. For five points of damage. Oh, no, sorry, disadvantage, yes. 13, for 13, 13, unfortunately, we'll miss the princess again as the whiz the bullets go whizzing by, <clears throat> sailing off into the area here. Does he move? Uh, no. Okay. Commodore Crux. No. Did my initiative not go off? Uh, oh, it says two. Yeah, I just don't okay. see myself on the order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, the I'll turn list. I got you. Okay. Uh, Commodore Crux. I, I guess he's just gonna longsword at this uh, at this uh, guard next to him. Okay. I do. Uh, what nine's not gonna do it? And then uh, fifteen. 
Uh, a 15 against the honor guard is not enough. Okay. Nothing. Then. Okay. Triple A. The ring okay. lies just outside the center of the circle. 50 uh, feet away. And I will come here. I, can I see it? Uh, I'm, it is in the like blinding white circle of light. That is the radiant pool there. So very difficult to, but you can, you think you can. How far did I just move? Hmm. So, staying out of the reach of this honor guard. I know I'm jumping, but I'll mm -hmm. I'll I'll jump and run, kind of on the side. On the edge the there. Here. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. towards the edge. And then, wherever I think the ring is, I'm gonna try to force cannon it. Absolutely. Go ahead and roll. Where did that go? Hopefully this isn't a mini golf situation. <laughs> Hopefully not. 23. Mm -hmm. It hits the ring. It goes spinning off into the circle there, and you can see it sitting in the light. It does not immediately transport. It is only an object. Oh. Mm. Mm. Uh, well, seeing that, then I'm going to have to turn and fire a pistol shot at the princess. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Does the 16 hit her? 16 will just hit her. Okay, perfect. Uh, ooh, 10 points. 10 points of, ten points of damage. Okay. All right. The Astral Elf Honor Guard begin to act here battling it out with uh, some of our friends. Uh, down here, this is Warwick and uh, Commodore Crux in the way here. The Astral Elf Armor Honor Guard is going to utilize their longsword here to make two attacks, one against each. 15 on the first, 12 on the second. Um, both of these are going to hit. So, 9 slashing, 15 radiant. On Commodore Crux, 19 slashing and 10 radiant against Warwick Blastemoth. Aline. Yep. <clears throat> Helene's uh, gonna look over at AAA, kind of still groggy and, you know, waking up, act, asking, what the hell just happened? What, what, what? Why, why are we going after the ring? We, it's been, we've been double crossed. But we got a we got a the, the 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 guy that we was fighting before. Apparently he was not so bad. He told us we got to destroy the ring. Uh, but it's a long story. But in, in any case, uh, kill the princess. <laughs> kill the princess or destroy the ring? No, no, both. I, I'm working on the ring. You get the princess. Well, then how how it's in the light? How come it's not dead? I don't know, but uh, I would suggest you probably don't go in there and find out. Xanth will yell to you here. The pool only transports people. Someone has to take it. She takes a uh, uh, a quick look over at Elena. Don't you dare. Oh. And steps backward into a starlight step portal. Uh-huh. <laughs> to the ring. Uh-huh. Yeah. 30 feet directly into the center. Which is where the ring is, right? The little pink splotch. Uh, right. Yeah. You'll be able to move okay. to it. All right. Well, then we step into the circle. Uh -huh. And uh, dive for the ring. Helene dives for the ring. Unfettered radiance tearing through you as you are pulled into the star's all consuming core. Helene vanishes. The ring with her. 
and the light from the center of the temple flashes and disappears. The star flares, becoming a thousand times brighter. And moments later, it's gone. Everything in 100 million miles of the star, including an entire planet, are destroyed. The whole area is plunged into darkness. The crowd panics, begins running, as the shockwave of a star exploding washes over. I need everyone to roll me constitution saving throws. Against a star? Against <laughs> a star. Uh, flash of genius, uh, throw five <laughs> on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I roll this too? Yo, you're dead. You went into a yeah. star, bro. There's Helene. Yeah. Helene. <laughs> Helene. <laughs> Helene. You went into a star, bro. You're gone. Yep. Uh. I would like to use my nat 20. Okay. What brings your total to? Uh, 24. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to bother rolling for any of the NPCs. It is a DC 30 constitution saving throw. As the radiant and force energy washes over you, fortunately far enough away from this that most of the damage has dissipated. Again, destroying planets and things along the way, but it is a 10d10 amount of damage. Jesus. Verse 52 total. You watch as the crowd, barely able to make it away, washes over them. People dying in the temple. You watch as some of the temple guard even collapse. There is only chaos. Princess Zadali has fallen to her knees here and only stares into the emptiness that was once the light of the star. Her brother, the prince, he summons a solar dragon from somewhere and mounts it and yells to his sister, Come, sister, we have to go! She, unmoving, does not seem to recognize it, and the prince begins to fly away. Xanth takes Pine by the shoulders as they're here on the ground. We have to go now. Drew, you're muted. Oh, no, no. Sorry. I was just remathing in my head because we got healed, didn't we? Yes. You were at max and then taken Ooh. down to 52. Pine, what do you do? Uh... The guard around you here stare into the emptiness and, like, up out of the temple toward where the star used to be. So, like, there's no beam of light. It's It's gone. The star is gone. An entire planet is gone. There are thousands of people dead around you. Yeah. Go get the captain. We gotta get out of here. And I'm, I guess I'm going to direct him to go get her. Yeah. And we're gonna get the, try to get the heck out of here. Okay. Uh, all of your friends will follow Xanth and you. Triple A, is there anything that you want to do yeah. here? He's just gonna kind of stare at the light and look around at all the dead bodies. <laughs> that is uh, not exactly what I had in mind. Cause he's just gonna kind of slowly back up. Kind of still unsure of what to do before he starts running the other way. We begin to run. The group together in the chaos, trying to make it out, running through the Imperial Citadel once again, just as chaotic as before. The people flee to the docks. You have to force your way through and onto your ship. Do you take any of them with you? Wow. Jeez, this seems familiar. Uh. Uh, 
I mean, I got a trip, AAA she, getting on the ship. Xanth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Xanth will look at them and then look at Pine. Yeah. Pine would. Yeah. And as many as you can. Yeah. He'll yell. And some 60 or so are going to jam pack onto what remains of your ship. Also damaged by the explosion, but fortunately still flyable. The ship will pull away from the ruins of the citadel. The light gone from the entire area is just plunged into darkness, the little dots of other stars around in the sky. Pull away from Xerixian space, beginning to fly outwards. And you note that the captured peoples, those that helped you fight to get to the temple itself, many of their ships and their people lie in ruin. The ships of the Xerixian Empire as well damaged some beyond repair and beyond use. And we leave the citadel in chaos. Including one of our own, left behind in the center of a star. Helene's last moments consumed in the light of the Xerixian star and the explosion after. This is the end of the adventure. We escape really? Xerixian space. And that's the end of Spelljammer. Thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. And we will uh, see you in the next one, I think. See some shout outs around for the incredible performances of this cast. I could not be more grateful for them coming on this incredible Spase journey with us. And I hope they are able to join us again sometime soon. The self sacrificing hero, Aline, played by Dan, Dan Otaj. Where can we find you out on the internet? Hello, my name is Dan Otaj. Uh like a little bit of drama and chaos in my life, obviously. <laughs> uh, for Helene, it was quite literally the only way to guarantee everybody's safety. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm Dan Otage. You can find me everywhere at Dan Otage, whether that's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, not Facebook, but, you know, um, Twitch, YouTube, all the stuff. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's Google me. I'm there. Hello. Thanks again, Dan. I should say I've had the, I, this has been one of the longer campaigns I've had the most fun with. Um, in a lot of campaigns, it's sometimes it's drama between players. Sometimes it's some, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, I had, I had an absolute blast here and uh, I would absolutely love to play with Joel and all these lovely people yet again. And uh, I hope that uh, we get to soon. Absolutely. Thanks again. Drew, playing Triple A. Where can we find you out on the internet? Oh, you won't find me near any more exploding stars, I don't think. But you can find <laughs> me at Mudcat on uh, Twitch or Mudcat TV on social. Or if you like uh, Pokemon cards, Dragon Ball Super cards, you can now find me on Mudcat Hits everywhere where we'll be opening up new packs of stuff and ogling all of the PSA 10s I get. Uh, and more importantly, you can find me on D20 Deathmatch uh, across all social media. Thank you very much. Cat playing Pine Saul. Where can we find you out on the internet? I'm still processing that ending. Uh, <laughs> it's going to take a bit. <laughs> uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash I'm Cat, where I play games uh, in a chaotic nature and I am a loot goblin and my content is uh, a dumpster fire. So if you enjoy any of that, <laughs> feel free to uh, to tune in. You can find me also on Twitter at I am Cat Cat. And yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed playing Pine. Uh, yeah, I, 
I don't know what else to say besides that I would totally 100% be down to play another campaign <laughs> with this group because it was so much fun every Friday. Honestly, I had such a hoot. It was great. Happy to have you here. It was great. I'm, I'm glad. Love I love the whole team. All, all new people at my table. Um, and it was incredible to have you all here. So thank you all and thank you all at home. Uh, I'm Joel, Runaway Robot. This, is, this has been Spelljammer adventures in space and uh god damn see you in the next one have a good night bye